Hey everybody, welcome to a bit of an odd how to fail video where I need to explain what's going on here because otherwise you're probably not really going to understand it. So this is a game called Avencast Rise of the Mage. It is a, a game by Clockstone that was released in 2007. And it's a, it's a bit of an odd one here. But uh, as you can see, I got the, the game all configured here. It's running extremely smoothly as you expect a game from 2007 to run. And so I got all my graphics settings configured. This may or may not have the, the shadows actually working there. I might need to mess around with some settings there. But anyway, so I got the graphics settings configured. I haven't really messed around with the game much beyond that. But I noticed something almost immediately that is uh, a bit of an issue. So let me go into the options here. And the thing I noticed was when I started to mess around with the controls. Now... Default in most games, whenever you find the use key, is E. I don't really like using E as the use key, so I switch it to F like I normally would. This changed the highlight function here, because it was previously F. So, I did what I thought made sense, and I decided to switch it over to Z, or Z, for those of you who use British English. So, let's see what happens when I press Z on my keyboard here. Hmm. Well, that says Y. I know I didn't press Y. I'm going to press Z again. Hmm. No, it's saying Y. Let me see what happens if I press Y on my keyboard. That's Z. Hmm. Me. That's Z. I press Z, it goes to Y. I press Y, it goes to Z. They have hard-coded the keyboard layout to Quirt Z. Because Clockstone is a German company and they use Quirt Z keyboards. So, if, for example, I wanted to use, I don't know, bracket left on my QWERTY keyboard to be the highlight function, it's going to be you with an umlaut. So, eh. <laughs> if I do right bracket, it's a plus. And if I do semicolon, it's an O with an umlaut, so eh. And <laughs> if I do apostrophe, it's A with an umlaut, so eh. <laughs> oh, small indie developers. Now, thankfully, I've used enough Quirt Z keyboards to where this is only just a, uh, a thing I need to remind myself. Oh yeah, by the way, this is in Quirt Z as opposed to QWERTY. So, the functions are in the same place as you would expect on a regular QWERTY keyboard. So, if, for example, I switch this over to the Y key on my QWERTY keyboard, it says Z or Z, but whenever I press Y, it's still going to highlight stuff. So, right now I'm pressing Y and it's highlighting stuff just fine. So, functionally, it's still fine. I switched it back to Z there, even though it says Y. So now it's, I'm pressing Z, and it's working fine. So, the layout still works. It's just that in the options menu, it says the wrong keys, because it is reading from the Quirt Z layout, as opposed to the QWERTY layout. So if, for example, you go into this game, and you start messing around with the keys, and you're wondering what the hell's going on when you press bracket left, and it goes to U, and so on and so forth, that's what's happening. It's reading the same input, the same location on your keyboard. So the function will still work with what you input. It's just that in the options menu, it says the wrong thing. Uh, just, just one of those weird, silly programming oversights that you get when you try to hard code something. I, I highly recommend against hard coding things like that, especially with keyboard layouts. Because it's bad enough that I'm using a QWERTY keyboard. And on a QWERTY keyboard, that just means that a few of the keys are swapped around. It's fairly easy to adjust to that. And like I said, I've used enough to where it's it's just I have to remind myself, oh yeah, by the way, QWERTY Z, and that's yeah, no big deal. But if, for example, this were in France, where they use a Zerti instead, that might be a problem. <laughs> so... Yeah. It's one of those odd quirks. Sometimes you run into these kinds of things when you're messing around with 
odd small indie games and such, and, well, I'll, I'll keep messing around with the game and see what it's all about and do a review or MTO, depending on what ends up happening, but I'm definitely going to have to mention that in the video, because it's just one of those weird quirks that, if I don't mention it, someone will probably wonder what's going on and be in the comments going, I got this game and started messing around with it, and it's got all my keyboard inputs wrong. What is happening? So, there you go. If you were wondering what's going on with the keyboard in Avencast Rise of the Mage, now you know. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all in later videos.